Hi everyone, today we're talking about something I really haven't heard much about and it's called dysphagia. Exactly what is dysphagia? Simply put, dysphagia is any difficulty swallowing. And swallowing is not something that we normally think about. I think we take it for granted until you can't swallow. Is this something that happens slowly over time? It can, or it can be is something that happens when you have a stroke. So it can be you're eating one day and the next day you can't. So a speech pathologist can actually help people to regain some swallowing function. How does the work that you do here affect the patient's quality of life? To be able to give someone um, back the gift of swallowing or communication, I mean, this is New Orleans. We talk and we eat. Those are two of the, two of the most important things to me. So being able to be instrumental in helping someone's quality of life by regaining those things is extremely rewarding. My personal favorite story is a man that approached my husband and I after church one day and told my husband, I love your wife because of her I can receive communion again. So someone's been diagnosed with dysphagia. What happens when they come here? If you are having these kind of problems, you would definitely want to discuss it with your physician they can refer you to one of our instrumental testings in radiology that's done with a speech pathologist and with the radiologist to determine what exactly is causing your swallowing problem. At that point, a referral can be made to outpatient speech therapy, and there we design an individual plan for our patients depending on what the problem is. The work that you guys do up here is tremendous. You change outcomes, you change futures, and you really change something that we take for granted swallowing. So thank you and your team. I'm Camille Whitworth. Thanks for watching.